There's an old adage, and it goes a little something like, if you hunt, you're a... Not a very good person. Moving swiftly along, we can't use that kind of language on YouTube, but today I thought we'd go through some hunting articles. Look at this one here out of the USA, Alaska. We've got a grizzly bear that mauled a hunter. The hunter survived the attack and shot and killed the bear. Now the hunter was out killing rabbits. So they got this guy out there with a gun shooting little defenseless innocent rabbits. And in the process of him murdering these rabbits, a bear came to murder him and eat him. And a man shot the bear and killed the bear. I don't know why the man just didn't lay down and just become part of the circle of life and say, hey, you know what, grizzly bear? You can eat me. You're a carnivore, an obligate carnivore. I'm basically in your territory now. Here, have a piece of my face. Eat it. Go on, circle of life. You need to eat meat for protein, eat me for protein. This hunter here thought it was fine to go out shooting rabbits to death to probably eat them, skin them, wear their skin. I don't know why he just didn't submit himself to the bear and be part of the kumbaya, the circle of life. It's interesting when you see these bear attacks and people actually get murdered by a bear out in the woods or sharks or something like that. No one ever comes running along and goes, you know what, circle of life, mate. They need to eat meat to survive and uh, survival of the fittest. Now, nah, human beings come out there, grab some guns. There's a great clip from Gary Orofsky. Every time a bear kills a hiker, what do we do? Start singing Hakuna Matata? We scream bloody murder. <laughs> Label that bear a homicidal maniac and get a bunch of people with guns and go kill that bear for killing the hiker. Very, very interesting one. Let's see some comments here. We've got Stacy says, that's so sad. A mama bear just trying to protect her babies. Oh, the mama bear apparently had her cubs trailing with her and she was just trying to protect her cubs from this guy with a gun. Chris said the bear was protecting her cubs. Humans are such a destructive species. Could this hunter have not used bear spray, which would have worked just as well? Wait a second, this hunter killed the bear? Isn't that the circle of life as well? <laughs> What's going on with these commenters? Like. Yeah, the hunter was out shooting rabbits. You didn't say anything about that. <laughs> Let me get this straight. This is speciesism encapsulated here. So this hunter was out there shooting rabbits to death, little innocent rabbits that harm no one. He gets attacked by a bear, another circle of life thing. He shoots the bear, kills the bear, another circle of life thing, okay? And all of a sudden everyone's upset about the bear being killed, you know? But not the rabbits. What if he ate the bear? What if he was out there shooting the bears to kill and eat? Is that okay? Society has this weird fetish with carnivorous animals. It's almost bizarre. Like the rabbit's okay to kill, the deer's okay to kill, but if someone shoots like a coyote or a bear, it's like, it's crazy injustice. People were so upset about this bear being killed. They probably ate a steak sandwich last night for dinner. They're probably eating bacon and eggs every morning where animals are being tortured and gas chambered and murdered. But as soon as a guy shoots a bear in self-defense and kills the bear, it's, oh my God, why didn't you use pepper spray? Oh my God, like we love this bear. He's out there murdering rabbits and no one says <laughs> It's crazy. These people are so morally inconsistent and, and lost and confused. They don't know where, whether they're coming or going when it comes to animal ethics. Like, what the f is wrong with you? Every now and then you get some dumbass hunter out there with a gun shooting innocent animals and they happen to mistake one animal for another animal and everyone loses their mind. So this one's the 13th of June, a day before this Alaska bear shooting. A man has been seriously injured after he was accidentally shot at a golf club. Irish police believe he may have been mistaken for an animal by a person out hunting in the area. So a human animal was mistaken for a non-human animal. And of course you can't shoot a human animal. You can only shoot other non-human animals, because if you shoot a non-human animal, that's completely fine. But if you shoot a human animal, that's completely crazy. Even if it's the same gun by the same hunter. <laughs> it is understood one of the hunters saw movement in the dark, mistook the man for an animal and discharged around. Irish police do not believe the shooting to be sinister. So let me get this straight. Police didn't think it was sinister for a man to be out there at nighttime with a gun shooting non-human animals. As soon as he shoots a human animal, they had to investigate to make sure it wasn't sinister even know what the hell is he doing out there with a gun shooting non-human animals to begin with. I think that's pretty damn sinister myself. Let's see what the comments have to say about this. How do you accidentally shoot a person? I don't know, it's just a moving animal in the dark, isn't it? I mean, what is the morally significant difference between shooting a human and shooting a rabbit? I mean, they both don't want to die. They're both sentient. What, is it because the human's more intelligent? You can't shoot the human? Or are we just a speciesist race of hypocrites whereby it's completely morally fine to shoot other animals like deer and rabbits but it's not okay to shoot human animals okay yeah we have a massive double standard as a society john says a hunter shouldn't be out lamping in the first place i agree with you mate the hunter shouldn't be out hunting in the first place 
Thomas says, totally agree. You, should, you shouldn't shoot at something you can't clearly see or identify. It should be charged and license revoked. Hmm. So it's, if you can identify that it's a non-human animal when you shoot them in the face, that's completely fine with you. Well, it's definitely not fine with me. Moving on to September 2009. <laughs> this one here is really interesting. A dog shot dead after being mistaken for a fox, which is a, an animal that looks almost identical to a dog. A dog was shot dead by a man who said he mistook her for a fox. I'm just genuinely heartbroken. Someone has taken away my best friend, the owner said. So let me get this straight. It's not like an outrage that this guy's out there with a gun shooting other animals. But as soon as he shoots a dog, then all of a sudden it's an outrage. I get it. This, you really liked this animal and you don't, probably don't have any connection to the other animals this person's out there shooting. That is really sad, actually. But you know what else is sad? Animals being shot in the skull in the beef industry. Animals being shot in the skull in the veal industry. Uh, animals being shot in the skull so you can have lamb. So there's two tragedies here. One, a dog being shot after being mistaken for a wild dog. And uh, two, the people who are complaining about this poor dog being shot. They murder other animals that are exactly inherently the same as this dog. Just another crazy point of hypocrisy here. Horrible, horrifying, but look into animal agriculture in the UK and I'm sure you'll just be even more shocked at the torture and the violence and the cruelty. And if you put this dog or dogs like this dog in that situation, I'm sure you just have a horrifying conniption at how disgusting the human race is to other animals. We got another one here in the New York Post. Hunter using animal caller is mistaken for a coyote and killed. A hunter who's using an animal caller was fatally shot by a man with an AR-15. He's said he mistook the sounds for a coyote. So again, we've got a hunter just mistaking someone for a, for a dog and shooting the man. So both these two hunters were out there shooting coyotes. One hunter has a coyote calling device, makes a sound. The other hunter thinks he's a coyote and shoots him dead. How's that for karma in action? Here's a picture of Michael Smith with a dead deer. So he doesn't just shoot carnivorous animals. He also shoots herbivorous animals. So yeah, these hunters are out there shooting innocent animals all the time. This guy here's going to prison for shooting a human animal when they're out there shooting non-human animals all, all day and no one blinks an eye. So here we go, we've got one final story from January 2023. We've got a French hunter avoids prison time over killing a man he had mistaken for a boar. A French hunter on Thursday avoided prison over the killing of a Franco-British man he had mistaken for a boar, disappointing relatives and friends who had wanted a stiffer penalty. He was given a two-year suspended jail term and banned for hunting for life. Meanwhile, the organizer of the hunt received an 18 month suspended sentence and a five year hunting ban. The message has been sent that if you kill someone, there is absolutely no consequences, said Peggy, a friend of Keen's. Let's just think this through, this one here. This guy is out there shooting animals like pigs, wild pigs who have families and they don't want to die and they get shot in the head and so it's terrible to be out there doing that anyway. Mistakes a human animal for a non-human animal, shoots a human animal. Everyone's upset that he gets no consequences for this action, even though it was an accident. And you don't see the absolute glaring hypocrisy in there being no consequences for hunting other animals. So basically you see a lot of hunters mistaking some animals for other animals and animals for human beings, beings for beings. It's just like hunters are just out there to kill. They're out there to kill. And yeah, they're gonna make mistakes and you know, they just see animals as animals at that point and just shooting anyone, you know? And I just think that we should be consistent when it comes to these animals that are being shot. If you don't wanna be shot yourself, especially if it's unjustifiable, there are reasons to shoot people. I don't know if they're encroaching on your home and about to kill your family, yes. If a bear's about to attack you and maul you to pieces, Yes, there are justified reasons to enact violence. There are unjustified reasons to enact violence. The majority of hunting is unjustifiable. It's just very interesting to see people get upset when certain animals are shot and not so upset when other animals are shot. Upset when human animals are shot, not so upset when non-human animals are shot. In the case of a bear, the bear could attack the guy and they were more upset that the bear got killed than they were with the guy being attacked. Even though the guy was out there shooting baby rabbits to death no one said anything about the rabbits. It just goes to show the hierarchy of care for different species. So rabbits, don't worry about them at all. No one cares about rabbits, similar to rats, you know, but rabbits maybe a little higher than rats. And then you got this human being here who was out there shooting the rabbits, but the, the bear almost was above the human being in this situation. Maybe it's just interesting if a dog gets shot, horrible. If a, if a fox gets shot, who cares? Guys out there both trying to hunt other animals and the human ends up shooting another human. All of this moral inconsistency and then you know, one of the charges that hunters could just levy at the meat eating population if they've got a problem with hunting is that, well, you pay for someone else to torture and kill animals anyway. I just want to know why you want to kill deer. Because I eat them. Why? Because I what eat What the deer do to you? All right, you're on video. I eat them. You eat, do you buy meat from the supermarket? Yeah, but we're yeah. not going to. You know, they get killed. They get killed even, they get killed in dirty areas. 
nasty, a whole bunch this is of not a dirty, nasty area. blood leak. That's why I'm saying. That's why you don't want that. All of them are eating meat. Hunters are out there shooting their own animals, which I think is just murder. The the public are out there paying for animals to be factory farmed and tortured and killed as well so they can't really point the finger at hunters can they and i'm over here thinking it's all wrong and unjustifiable why doesn't everyone just live consistent and be vegan so leave your thoughts down below what do you think of these stories and i'll see you all in the next video peace